Hello everyone. Today I will tell you uh, what mistake I have done while operating a cataract in young myopic patient with vitreoptimized eye. He was operated earlier um, for retinal detachment surgery. Pass plana vitrectomy was done and silicone oil insertion was done. After few months of the uh, first surgery, silicone oil was removed. Then patient developed posterior subcapsular cataract. Before making capsular access, antechamber was uh, cleared uh, uh, from the silicone bubbles present in the antechamber. Because the patient was young, so there was no uh, firm nucleus. Hydro procedures were, were done to um, separate the lens matter from the capsule. And lens matter was planned to be aspirated through irrigation and aspiration. Particle matter aspiration was done without any problem. As I cleared the cortical matter, I realized some pacification in this with central visual axis. Initially, it looked like that uh, some posterior some fibrotic plaque is present on the posterior capsule in the center part normally whenever i uh, get any uh, opacification on the posterior capsule i always try to polish it with the help of hydrojet or with the polisher during uh, the posterior capsule polishing i realized that this opacification is not uh, on the posterior capsule it is present behind the capsule in the vitreous cavity and they were the collection of fine silicone bubbles which we often get uh, up even after silicone oil removal um, in the vitrectomized eye. I continued the surgery, I filled the chamber with the cohesive viscoelastic and implanted the single piece hydrophobic implant in the bag. After the eye centration, I realized and I thought what to do with this uh, opacification or the bubbles present in the uh, vitreous cavity just behind uh, the posterior capsule, absolutely in the center. Performing posterior capsular access is not a difficult task uh, in the presence of uh, high viscosity, um, vis cohesive viscoelastic. Initially, I tried to catch the poster capsule with Uprata forcep. Then I, again, I filled the chamber with viscoelastic and I used micro forceps to hold the poster capsule to complete the PCC. As I made a small nick in the poster capsule, cap poster capsule ruptured uh, in an uncontrolled manner because the uh, fluid uh, present in the vitreous cavity came out and extended the poster capsular axis. Luckily, I managed this case uh, with a slight compromise in the centration of the eye well. My idea behind bring, uh, sharing this video is do not attempt PCC through anterior uh, chamber root in vitrectomized eye. And if you want to do PCC or uh, if you want to handle the posterior capsule, go through the post pass planar root and simultaneously you can lavage the uh, posterior chamber cavity and you can handle the posterior capsule. If you like this uh, information, please comment and uh, uh, you can uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, channel sudhiraicoach.com for uh, many more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.